Hey YouTube, Locks and Load here. We're continuing the series of my AR pistol build. And so now, today's video, we are on the trigger. This is just your standard mil spec Anderson trigger that I got in today. I'm going to show you guys how to install a trigger. It's pretty simple, it's not too hard. What you first want to do is make sure that your springs look like this. You want it where the little loop is right here right under the nose of the trigger and your legs are sticking out and for your hammer you want it to rest right like this with your legs kicked back alright so let's get right into it first we're gonna take our little spring focus anyway this spring has a big side and a small side so what you do is this little hole right here you take your spring with the, the wide the flared side and you stick that flared side in first and you push it down just like that next you have your disconnector and it sits right here in this little groove of your trigger like that where the spring falls in that little hole and right in here if you can see you see how you can see the light the hole make sure your holes line up like that you might have to push down but make sure your holes line up so let's clear our space you have your trigger with your disconnector and the dogs go crazy. So you put it in, drop it in there. Make sure you line up the holes. Yep. What I like to do is like take like an Allen wrench and stick it through. It keeps the trigger and everything in place so it doesn't move around. Until you're ready, get your pin. Alright, now we're ready to pin in our trigger. So we have our pin. As you can see, there's uh, this point and then there's the long point. Alright, fine. The camera doesn't want to work today. So just feed it through your hole. Put the small point in first. Just like that. The camera does not want to focus today. I don't know why. There we go. Now your pin is in. Now your trigger is in. So take your spring like this. Well, take it. Push it in. With the legs kicking back. Push down. Alright, sorry, I had to take it off camera. I had to use two hands. But have it sitting in just like this. If you have your Allen wrench, push it through. Let's move over a little bit. And then grab your other pin with the small point out. We're going to put that point in first. All right, our right, hammer is in. Now we're gonna test and see if it works. All right, it catches it. Releases the hammer. All right, our trigger looks good. All right, so 
that was that. And now, since I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and install my safety, my pistol grip. Okay, so what we're going to do now is install our safety selector switch. I'm using the CMG lower parts kit. So, when you first one thing you want to do is make sure your hammer is cocked back. Cuz if it's cocked forward, your safety won't go in. So, Make sure it's cocked back, take your safety, drop it in, just like that, where it's nice and flush. And what you want to do is move it to safe, and make sure, see, pull the trigger, see if it fires that trigger, now move it to fire, and see if it fires, just like that. Safe, won't fire, fire, fires. All right, one more time, safety, no fire, fire, fires the trigger. All right, so that's in there. And that is how you install your safety. Now what we're about to move into is installing your safety detent, your spring, and your pistol grip. I'm using the Magpul SL grip in flat dock earth so we it's better if you have a vice but there's a hole right here that is for your safety detent I mean your selector detent safety selector same thing your uh, detent so go in your parts kit follow the little uh, little map they got where they tell you you know what's what focus camera there we go. So we got our uh, selector detent. You're going to take your selector detent and you're going to drop it in the hole. That's going to that's for your safety. And take your according to our little legend. right here and this is your selector spring and this goes in your pistol grip so take out your pistol grip with your selector spring and drop it in your hole just like that all right so here's our detent and our pistol grip with our spring so you want to take them it's really awkward to do this on camera alright there we go what you want to do, you have your uh, screw that comes with the pistol grip. You want to take a flathead. And inside your pistol grip, there's this hole right there. And that screw goes in that hole and it ties down all this down so it won't fall off. And now our screw is in our pistol grip. Now our trigger is installed. Let's see how it works. Safety works. Fire. And it fires. Safety. Alright. So we had, I showed you guys how to install your trigger how to install your safety uh, selector and how to install your pistol grip so you guys got 
Three amazing items in one video. So this is my AR pistol build. Uh, and that's it for right now. Tune in tomorrow where I should, I think I most likely will be installing my magazine catch and my magazine release button. Along, yeah, yeah, I already said that magazine release button. And I might install my pins. I don't know, depending on how it goes tomorrow. Because last time I tried to do a build and install some pins, it took me a hell of a long time. And it was pretty, 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 you know. It was a humbling experience, let's just say that. These D10 pins really give me a pain in the butt, but, you know. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope how you like my AR pistol is, is going along. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Be safe. Lock the load out.